present. I'm here. You here? I'm here. He's here. Guys, I have to tell y'all. <laughs> I just want to almost cry right now. I feel like a breath of fresh air right now because I know where I'm going. Nick has a turkey. In fact, there are several gobblers on this property. Oh, old Nick, a big one. Have we seen them in here? For helping me out here. Because I'm, I'm pretty low in the dump. Park this tree and walk this way. We can. Let's, let's park it. You think so? Let's pull up in that, yeah. You seen tracks up here? I have. Before? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, here we go, y'all. We got a little walking to do, a little observing, a little slipping around. We'll see what happens. Y'all come join us. All right, so we're still walking towards our gas line where we've heard the turkey and seen the strut sign. And we could have chose another road to access it that bordered some hardwoods and was kind of parallels that gas line. The reason why we chose this is because it's real thick and we're probably nowhere near the turkey in here. Knock on wood. This just gives us some concealment and cover. We're gonna keep moving our way up towards where we need to get to. I'm gonna try to get to a position where we can pop up over the rise and look and observe, and maybe put eyes on him, hopefully. So we're making our way right to where this road bends. We're not gonna go left, we're gonna keep all this thick stuff along our edge. We're gonna keep going down the thick stuff. We're gonna try to pop out to a vantage point. So there's a hand walk in this road, but we're just gonna keep easing down. sounds like a broken record but eventually we're gonna change discs see y'all tomorrow morning all right well I've been trying to roost this turkey this afternoon we were way across here we left that we came all the way up here and we came to like right there on down the bend of the road right here and we hooted and I took the goblin way back over there kind of where we were but deeper well, we moved on down to this spot and hooted and the turkey gobbled. Sitting right, right on line down this logging road. And you see that tall tree right there? I think that's where he's at. Let's check him again, let's just see. But we've got to figure out a spot for us to sit tomorrow morning. I feel like we'll get a good chance. This is the first time I've really had a good read on a bird this year. I didn't have to, he's right in there. He's in where you said they didn't cut, mm -hmm. Nick. Oh, we're just a little, we're getting, trying to pick. Trying not to bump the turkey, but we're trying to get in his kitchen. I'm trying to figure out a spot to set. We get here in the dark. I'm just trying to pin him down.
gun turkey hunting, man. Okay. So, the takeaway. There's anything I can take from this. There's any point of me doing these videos and there's anything that is if I can show y'all my screw ups and what I did wrong. Maybe, just maybe, the absolute just feeling of worthlessness can have a greater purpose that I might not understand. So the takeaway, what not to do, is it's all about the details. Everything in this hunt was, was it not like flawless from start to finish? I mean, from finding the turkeys, from roosting them, to knowing what, getting the setup right, knowing what to say to them on the limb, knowing how to paint the picture with the Jake Yelps, knowing when to say it, how to say it, when not to call, when he's out there kind of hung up, when to just give him a little bit and then shut up. And everything was executed flawlessly. Besides, the, the, the takeaway here, and I know I'm trying to get to the point here, guys, but I cannot stress this enough. The takeaway here on this hunt, the reason why we don't have a turkey, it's obviously my fault. I rushed the shot, and the reason why I rushed the shot is if you see out here, there's a bunch of trash in front of that decoy. Well, let's go show you what I mean. All right, so I'm right here. This right here, this stuff, that was my problem. This stuff right here was my problem. Now I originally was putting the decoy out in the middle of the road, which would give me a clear, perfect shot, okay? Well, when you go over there and try to stick the stake in the road, this, the road is like concrete. I couldn't, I, that was a curveball. So I just put it off to the side and went and set up and I didn't think about anything that might be in the way. When it got light, it was too late to crawl out there and mess with it because the turkeys could see us if, if I did that. So, I didn't hit this stuff. I, I shot at the turkey way over here, but the problem was that made me rush my shot because I was thinking, oh no, he's gonna get behind that stuff and I'm not gonna have a shot. So that's the takeaway. I don't really know I told if y'all, I told y'all before doing it this way and filming, you'll just you're gonna take them on the chin, and uh, I normally don't take them on the chin like this, but this is just a part of it. I mean, it's if I can learn from it myself. It's going to have to help me in the future. And if I can show y'all how I screwed up, I know it's going to help y'all in the future.